Tonight, there are growing questions about land for sale near Oceana. Virginia Beach acquired the land through a program aimed at limiting development near Oceana. And now it's being offered as a residential building site. 13 News Now reporter Stephen Graves is live tonight in Virginia Beach. And Stephen, how are people in that area reacting to this? Well, David, I'm standing on one of those properties on North Oceana Boulevard that's up for sale. We spoke to one woman who didn't want to go on camera, but she says she's OK with development as long as it's done correctly. But after a city audit raised concern, we went to city staff to see what's being done. Homeowners near Naval Air Station Oceana know what they signed up for, living in a potential accident zone with jet noise and some vacant lots too. The ones you see here with the city for sale sign are now up for bid. It is in fact open to everyone. That's Lyndon Ramia, city auditor. He wants that one statement known after some of his recent findings shed light on bidding practices over the past decade, specifically that only five developers seem to really have a shot. The city may have inadvertently excluded individuals. The city started buying properties around 2005. That's when the naval base faced threat of closure due to encroaching development and more people moving in. Now as a part of an acquisition program, only single family homes can be built here, but to build requires certain certifications, ones that might not have been clear before, which Ramia says narrowed the field. He also wants people to know that more than contractors can bid. It is open if somebody is willing to to purchase and then in turn work with the contractor. The audit also found some bids were being opened before all could make it in for consideration. Now change is being made. One of the things they are going to do is change the process where the bids are going to come to a separate location. You know, simple changes should be able to fix mistakes like that. 